Good morning, and thanks for tuning in to our midweek devotional. I would like for you to continue to join the series on building your faith, which is going to be our subject today. The season is changing, so happy fall. Even though times may be difficult, remember that your seasons do change. Continue to watch this video to join the discussion on building your faith. This is your first time here. Uh, I am Nora and I am um, going to be talking with you about um, building your faith on his reputation. This is um, a daily devotional and we're going to read it and have a little bit of a discussion together. If you want to um, continue in on this um daily devotional continue watching and um we will jump right into it um do do not forget to um hit that like button and make sure that you um smash the notifications buttons if you would like to see any and be up to date on whenever i put out new content so um this topic um kind of hits home um, and I thought this would be a good one for us to discuss. And um, the introduction part says, Warren Buffett said, It takes 20 years to build a reputation and it takes five minutes to ruin it. If you think about that, you will do things differently. Will you really do things differently though? Have you become a slave of your own reputation? Someone who constantly wears a mask that's funny because we're having to wear a mask, a physical mask. Um, or is the way that you walk or act a true reflection of who you really are? Do you know who Christ says you are? Take your mask off. See your heart and face and live to the glory of God through your reputation. So to me, this is saying remove those things that um that you're covering up things that you may be dealing with um help us to see your true you you know don't be ashamed of christ uh don't be ashamed to show who you are because of a set of people that you are around um you know sometimes people switch it up depending on depending on who they are interacting with and we need to always be the same based off of who we really are. Let me read that again. Will you really do things differently? Have you become a slave of your reputation? Someone who constantly wears a mask. And the scriptures that it has for you, um, remember the scriptures that I share are not all from the King James Version. Um, we kind of line them up with the other scriptures that are sometimes more easily read we're not changing the scriptures but there's different translations of the scripture uh, one scripture says choose a good reputation over great riches being hell and high esteem is better than silver or gold proverbs 22 and 1 that's found in the new living translation the lord is known by his own acts of justice the wicked are ensnared by the work of their hands. Psalms 96 and 16, the New International Version. This one says, A good reputation is more valuable than costly perfume. And the day you die is better than the day you were born. Ecclesiastes 7 and 1. Let me say that again. A good reputation is more valuable than costly perfume. And the day you die is better than the day you were born. Ecclesiastes 7 and 1, the New Living Translation. And to me, that means um, 
you know, we're born, no one knows us. They don't know anything about us. We come with a clean slate. But when we die, um, what is it that you're leaving behind? How will people remember you? What are you doing to um, help people to um, to know you, to know the real you? When you are gone, what are they going to say about you? Is it going to be good things? Is it going to be bad things? Are they going to have to make up things to try to make you out to be this special um, person that you may not have really been? Um, so having a good reputation, um, people can trust you. People know you when they hear your name. They're not um, running because they like, oh, my God, that's so-and-so. Oh, my God, that's Nora. Let's Everybody just scatter and go everywhere. Um, so let's say that again. A good reputation is more valuable than costly perfume. The, and the day you die is better than the day you are born. Ecclesiastes 7 and 1. Another scripture says, he who walks with integrity walks securely, but he who perverts his ways will become known. Proverbs 10 and 9, the New King James Version. Another scripture said, the wise are known for their pleasant understanding and pleasant words of per pervasive. Proverbs 16 and 21, the New Living Translation. And the last scripture that I want to share with you. Never let loyalty and kindness leave you. Tie them around your neck as a reminder. Write them deep within your heart. Then you will find favor with both God and people. And you will earn a good reputation. Proverbs 3 and 3 through 4. New Living Translation. Building your faith on his reputation. So take from this today. Make sure that you have a good reputation. Do not switch it up because of certain people that are around. If you say you are a woman of faith, then be that woman of faith. And um, a woman of faith is, you know, a person that is um, believing God and showing their lifestyle to people. So don't put these masks on when certain people are around. You know, if you're going to live for Christ, live for Christ. Show people who you really are. Take the mask off. And I'm not talking about the mask that we are wearing because of the coronavirus. Um, and even with the coronavirus, we have to keep our faith and our trust and hope in God. Because God will have the finer say. And this is for you. This is for any family members that are dealing with, um, struggling with their faith because they have family members that are sick. No matter what happens, remember, God has the final say. He's going to take care of us. He's going to take care of our loved ones. And we can trust him to keep his word. If God said a thing, he will perform it. He may not perform it how you think it's supposed to happen. But if he says a thing, if he spoke it in his word, he is good for his word. We just have to pray, believe, and keep our eyes on God. So today, this is my daily devotion. I am sharing with you and hope that I will say something to encourage you. Um, not just to encourage you, but when I spend this time studying and reading over the scriptures and the verses, it helped me as well. So, um, these are the type of things that you will find on my channel, and I hope that I am encouraging you and your family. And if you think that there is someone else that will benefit from uh, my channel and the content that is provided here, do not forget to share this with someone. Encourage them to subscribe. Um, on Saturday, I'm going to be a guest on someone else's channel, and we're doing a collaboration and um, it's going to be um, kind of interesting. Um, I will give you more details about that. And I will put that in the comment section. So maybe you can tune in on um, on Saturday. Um, so that you can um, see how we're uh, spreading God's love. And then trying to encourage women of faith uh, during this time. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, also on Wednesdays, it's going to be um, 
several things that we're going to share. I'm going to start doing um, some reviews on um, some of our products and um, featuring um, wellness and just a lot of other things on Wednesdays. Wednesdays is going to be a special day. So make sure that you um, are subscribed so you can come back and stay abreast of the things that are happening on the Faith Boss. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we said something to encourage you on building your faith. I'm going to leave a free gift with you that you may use on my website, a um, BOGO code, and you can check out everything that we have to offer at LorayNaturals.com. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to um, leave likes and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our videos.